Hey yo, Fat Joe, what's up, bruh? I know I got one pair, but I need the other ones. Eric, you, you been walking around just giving everybody a pair of shoes. How did I not end up on the list? But it's okay, I still got a pair. I'm gonna be giving you guys a review of the Terra Squad Air Force Ones. There's some nostalgic memories behind this shoe, and I cannot wait to show you guys all the details because I know they look basic, but trust me, these things are nice. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA Show. Hey! So with all that being said, let's go ahead and take it to the studio so I can give you guys a review. So here we have it, the Terra Squad Air Force Ones. Now one thing that I love about these already, they're giving us nostalgic vibes when it comes to the box. For all my old sneaker heads from the early 2000s, y'all remember these boxes. Looking at the size tag, it reads Air Force One Low, Quick Strike, Terra Squad, New York, White Porpoise, size 12, just for me. <sighs> Y'all know if you know, you saw my YouTube video where I went and bought these at SneakerCon. Okay, so the Terra Squad Air Force One, right here it says ask is 500, people are offering 200. There's no sales on this one, but if I look at like other sizes and prices, oh, that's a 13, it's a size 12. Okay, so people are around like 260. So after fees, that's like above 200, something like that. Hmm. So the dude over there, he wants 300 for the pair. Hold on, let's take a sit down for this one. Look at the background. This is icy. Okay, so the guy wants 300 for the Terra Squad Air Force Ones, the picture I just showed you. Mm -hmm. That shoe is like a nostalgic sneaker from the past. Okay. And it was a PE for Fat Joe. Do they re-release They're releasing just... them now for the first time to the public. Okay. There's a black pair and a white pair. Oh, well, white and blue, the ice blue ones. And there's other ones too. So he wants 300. The question is, is that nostalgic enough to go into the booth? It's our early release, they haven't came out yet. Is it worth the cop? It's above market ask and sell right now, like based off of like actual offers. Yeah. But at the same time, we're at SneakerCon, I'm making a video, da da da. Yeah. Like, is it worth me doing it for the video? Do I pay the extra 50 or whatever? Or do I try to get it for retail? You know, where do I, where do I go from this situation? It's like what, them? 50 bucks extra? Yeah, and that's the thing. It's not like I'm paying a lot extra. No, no. But if around was, market. If it was over 50, okay. maybe I'd be like, eh. Okay. But 50 is not that bad. Okay. I think it's a cop. Let's go get the shoes. What do you think? Unbox them. These are clean. You like them? Yeah. Rate them out of 10 real quick. I gotta go. Ooh. I give them a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Woo! Now lifting open the lid right here. I love this right here. Giving that nostalgic vibe again with the paper with the stars all over. 1982 on the print right here. And peeling back the paper, you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. So first impression of this shoe right here, the materials on this shoe is really, really nice. And I know they look like a very, very basic sneaker, but I was like, you know what? We should still do a review because there's a lot of cool details and materials. And I think you guys need to check these out with some nice crispy shots. So like typical fashion on this channel, you already know, we start with the bottom of the sneaker and work our way up. So let's go ahead and get into it. Looking at the outsole right here, you got your classic Air Force One outsole, translucent vibes, and you got that icy sole to it, kind of matching and vibing with the upper. Now going up to the midsole right here, you got that pure white, and instead of a white stitch, you have a UNC or an icy blue or, or whatever the size tag says on here. That same blue that matches with the back panel right here, that's gonna be the same color on the stitching. Now looking at the upper, like I said, materials on this shoe. These things are nice. So starting with the back end of the foot right here around the heel area, you got that Terra Squad branding with the little drip right there, the TS. This is just so nostalgic for me because I remember seeing these Air Force Ones back in the day. And he has a bunch of different Air Force Ones, by the way. He also had Terra Squad Jordans, which, I might have had a couple of those in my collection a time or two, but either way. So as you can see right here on the back panel, again, classic color blocking from that early 2000s era. You got that blue color tint right here on the swoosh in the back panel and around the heel area. And then on the back end right here, it looks like it says JC for Joey Crack. And then on the front end of the foot right here, you got the all white premium tumbled leather filling so clean 
it's kind of got of a sheen to it it's not as uh like i feel like it's a little bit duller on the back end compared to the white leather on the front but i still think that's fine it's still a nice look kind of giving that certified lover boy air force one vibe when it comes to the materials and how they put the shoe together i think those two are not exactly the same but you know just more of an elevated air force one compared to your typical white on white now these come standard with a pair of all white laces and then you have the dubrays right here in the front end air force one 1982 and then going up to the tongue you got the white patch with the blue stitch nike air force one right here and then on the insoles same thing you got that unc blue i keep calling it unc powder blue whatever kind of blue they call it they got that on the insole right here with the white nike air and then one part that i love about shoes the sock liner like it's just doused in that buttery leather and when you put the shoe on it just feels so much better so much more premium it's just a nice feel when you're rocking a shoe with that leather sock liner now like i was talking about earlier these come with a pair of standard white laces but you have that same blue color that matches the upper that goes for the laces now i think it might be a dope switch up to switch the laces but y'all know me, I keep it classic. I stay standard with it. I'm rocking the all white laces real clean right there with the upper just vibing out. But I do think the blue would look really good. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So after seeing some detailed shots of this shoe, let me know what you guys think down below. And you know me, I'm always interested to see what everybody else thinks. So I post a poll on my story and then I get the results and I post them here on the channel. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls every time. Now, this is what the people said when I asked them if it was fire or trash 64 percent of the people chose fire and 36 percent of the people chose trash and honestly it makes sense i get it it's an air force one there's a lot of shoes coming out retail price points are high there's so many different reasons why to somebody could like it or not like it i don't think it's like a top 10 sneaker of the year type thing but I definitely think that it's a fire shoe. I think it's a great addition to the collection, a great addition to the rotation, a collector's piece. I think this checks a lot of boxes overall at the end of the day when it comes to these. I ain't tried them on yet, so I don't know if the 12 is gonna work, but either way, I'm gonna find a pair of my size. I'm excited to hear what you guys think. And if you guys wanna see any other reviews on this channel, hit that subscribe button. We got plenty more bangers dropping soon, and man, we got some cool events pulling up too. And stay tuned for the website because I know you guys have been asking about the merch. ShopDNAShow.com. We got some new stuff dropping for Halloween. It's going to be a good month. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy and I'll see you guys over there. Send my DNA, hey, the hey, only Pop. choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. I would never let you down and send my DNA, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it, it's in the DNA. <laughs>